All right, I know you like this guy, Rick. Emery, I'll come back to you. Consensus rank between the three of us, Ty J. Spears out of Tulane comes in fifth. Emery, he's your number four guy. Um, he's my number five guy. Rick didn't have him rank among his top five, but he went to the Senior Bowl, had a great week, had a great season at Tulane, and he talked about how that season ended for them, beating the crap out of USC. What do you like Ty J., Ty J. so much? He has outstanding vision and a feel for the run game. Some backs just kind of hit the hole and do what they're told, but they don't have a real good feel for the run game. So he combines the, the vision with the patience and the explosiveness. And what really jumped out to me watching him last year was how he has the ability to, to reignite the explosiveness. Some guys hit the, the button and that's it. They're, they're gassed out right there. But he can be explosive through the hole and then find a second and sometimes third gear to accelerate past the, the back-end defender. So for me, it was just a level of explosiveness within this game. Uh, the vision, the the fact that, hey, Tulane's about to run the football, you know that on the other side, you still couldn't stop him or their offense, and it was, a lot of it was him. Uh, we know he can catch football out of the backfield, Um, and, and that's a big thing. The pass pro obviously needs technical work, and I compared him to Brees Hall. Even though Brees Hall is 6 feet, 220, mm. and Spears came in at 5'9", 204, I was more shocked that he came in at 5'9", 204 because he doesn't play shorter and, and smaller but he has good enough size to where he can be a foundational back. And I just like the fact that he has that, that second and third level explosiveness that you rarely see. So Rick, he didn't run at the combine. So we have a 40 time on him. We saw him have a fantastic practice week at the senior bowl. Do you need to see a 40 from him or have you seen enough? Yeah, no, I, I, it's, I, it's a skill position. So you would like to get at least a 40 time on him uh, because it's a skill position. Um, but his vertical is broad. You can see there, uh, all explosive, so you can tell that he's an explosive athlete. Uh, you think that he can run in the four fours uh, when you watch the tape on him. There's no question about his game speed, especially when you see the uh, USC game. Um, but I, I didn't have him in my top five. I do like him as a player, but I think this draft class is so thick with running backs. You can pick 10 guys and put them in any way, shape, or form you want after the first two and everybody's uh, opinions are going to be different. So that's what will be exciting about this draft. After Gibbs goes, after Robinson goes, how every, but how every other team has these running backs stacked because there's a lot of very good running backs in this draft class.